Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine again with a brand new video. And today's video is all about deep cleaning of my house because it's been so long. I haven't done that intense cleaning. And this is not going to be any fancy type of cleaning. This is going to be a very rugged, rough cleaning because fancy cleaning is something which you do for the camera sake this is how i really do my house cleaning you know like exactly like i don't use a, a mop and everything i just do some exercise as well with the cleaning so yeah the weather is not that great today it's a bit like um, uh, very dull climate you know but then yeah I'm just getting up myself uh, to clean the house uh, so yeah I'll just play some music and then start the cleaning I so guys this is the sabudana which I have soaked last night and I added water just a bit so that it fluffs up so now the sabudana is nice and fluffy and these are the things which I need for the sabudana tadka this is some onion curry leaves green chili and the, some dry roasted peanuts and also a lime juice for the end and I also have some grated coconut here which is ready made grated coconut which I'll be using in the sabudana at the end. So now in the heated pan I've added some oil now I'm adding jeera and now goes in all the onions curry leaves and green chili and I'm just allowing them to fry. And once the onion is translucent, what I'm going to do is the peanuts which I've roasted, I'm going to grind them and also now I'm adding some salt and it should be coarsely grinded and then I'll add that to the mixture and also add sabudana and then keep stirring it until it's nice and fluffy. And now I'm adding the coconut here, grated coconut. This is according to your taste, you can add how much ever you want. And here I'm going to close a lid and keep this sabudana till it becomes translucent. And once it looks transparent something like this, then the sabudana is ready. So now at the end I'm just going to add some finely chopped coriander and then it's ready to be served. This is a really nice sabudana recipe and here for the garnish I'm also adding some lime juice. This enhances the taste of the sabudana. And now I'm having my breakfast and once I'm done with my breakfast I'm going to clean everything in my living room from that corner to the other corner each and everything will be clean and this carpet I've already vacuumed it so I'll just be taking some dust off with the broom that's it and yeah my yummy sabudana is waiting for me to have now you can see I've started brooming from my kitchen and this is a fancy broom which I got in Singapore. I didn't get the Indian broom here so I always broom with this and once I'm done sweeping with this next I'm going to the living room. I start from the kitchen always and then my living room is quite uh, very like the tiles is white in color so that's the reason I have to broom it and keep it really clean because even a single hair is visible on the tiles so yeah I need to clean it and then keep it really neat and tidy and guys my hamster wants to talk to you guys he wants to come in the video uh, I have two pets now two hamsters but I don't bring them along together because they tend to fight these days so yeah this is my first hamster his name is Hammy and the other one's name is Fighter because he fights a lot and this one is really quiet and silent just like me <laughs> So next I'm going towards my walkway and then I'll be going to my rooms. So I have total three rooms, one master bedroom and two uh, normal rooms here. One is guest room and one is my filming room. So I'm just cleaning the guest room. This is always clean because nobody comes to my house. And this is my uh, makeup room which is really untidy many times because I keep filming videos and all my things are uh, uh, just on the bed lying down here and there because I film and then I go get my, my do my work and everything. So that's the reason. And this is the master bedroom and I'm just uh, taking off all the hairs from the carpet and the dust and yeah this is a wooden floor so this is really easy to clean and next I'll just take off all the dust in the dusting pan and yeah my brooming is done for the day 
so next i'm going to uh, wipe my floor so this is mopping i'm doing it with my hands uh, i'm not using a mop here i'm just uh, taking a old towel which is really nice for cleaning the floor you can try this as well and i'm dipping it in soap water and then cleaning my entire house with this this mopping style helps you to do some physical activity just like uh, your stomach is going to be really nice and flat by doing this because it's something like crunches what you're doing here and also a good physical exercise for people who are lazy who doesn't want to work work out you know so this is one type of exercise that is really essential for ladies so I do this type of mopping at least once in a week and uh, every alternate day I mop with the mopping stick so yeah here I'm cleaning all the bedrooms now and once I'm done with the mopping uh, all in my living room and bedrooms I'm going to clean my kitchen at the end because kitchen tends to be oily the floor tends to be oily because of the cooking and everything so I clean that at the end I don't want all the oil to be in, in my entire house so now you see my kitchen is done so my mopping is done completely. So now I'm going to clean all the shelves here because these shelves have that uh, glass finish on them so very easily your fingerprints and all other things can be seen. So I clean it with a glass cleaner here. So I'm using any random glass cleaner you can use to clean this and I'm using this uh, microfiber cloth here which is really good for cleaning and also I'm cleaning my uh, TV cabinet here uh, which is white in color again and even a small dust particle can be seen on this so yeah this one is done and next i'm going to my bedroom and cleaning my side tables which is besides my bed and this also tends to become dirty because of my hair and all that stuff so yeah this is done and this is a seating area in my master bedroom which i have near the window and because it's near the window it becomes really dirty and next I'm going to my uh, bathroom this is the master bedroom washroom so the floor is really clean and the uh, uh, toilet is also clean so I just need to clean the shelves and also the sink area so I'm going to start with the sink area first so now here I'm spraying the same uh, glass uh, spray, uh, cleaner spray and which is really nice and gives a nice shine on your uh, tiles and your sink everywhere. So I'm cleaning the glass also with this and one tip I want to give you guys if you're using toilet uh, rolls in your bathroom you use this scented ones which is really good. This keeps your bathroom really fresh and your bathroom keeps smelling really nice because of this. And now you see my washroom is really clean and yeah ready to be used and yeah my shelves are clean everything is shining like a glass here and no dust particles anywhere in the washroom as well and that's me so yeah I've changed the towel also in the washroom here now So today I have bought a new tablecloth so I have changed my tablecloth from white to this black and white nice looking tablecloth and you see my kitchen slab is so dirty I need to clean this tabletop or else I am not gonna cook anything today so yeah let's get going. So now my vessels are done, the sink is neat and clean and the only thing left is my gas stove. So I want to clean this as well. So at the end what I do is I also clean this uh, um, stove with the glass cleaner because this kills all the germs and also my I have a glass thingy in front of the stove so this tends to become dirty because of the oil splashes and everything so I clean it with the glass cleaner as well. Now you see my kitchen is really nice both the slabs are clean and once I'm done with the kitchen cleaning what I do is I light this scented candle in my kitchen so that there's good aroma in the kitchen and all the oily smell is gone out of the kitchen. Thank you. 
so next I'm going to clean all the dustbins in my house I have three dustbins total in the house so one is in the washroom so this is the one which from the from the washroom that's a small uh, dustbin so I'm gonna clean that and next this walkway dustbin and one from the kitchen as well so I'm going to clean all the dustbins now and next I'm going to take out all the dried clothes and then later on I'll be folding whenever I'm uh, like free uh, from all the work right now I'm just keeping those clothes in my room and later on I'll be doing that and now I need to clean just this uh, backside which I have a small space for drying clothes and for my washing machine area so I'm just going to sweep that and mop as well so guys as you all just saw this was my deep cleaning of my house uh, and I do this cleaning once in a week this is the deep cleaning or else generally I just mop and clean my house so yeah with, if you're doing this mopping every alternate day uh, this style of mopping like you wipe it with your hands then this is a good exercise for your body as well your body becomes really nice and flexible and it's an exercise for ladies you know so it's really nice plus your house will be clean so that's one of the exercises that I do <laughs> if you have liked this video please do not forget to give that video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit on that subscription button to see more of videos and also hit on that bell icon to get notification every time I upload a new video so yeah see you again in my next video till then take care bye bye